Welcome to my very first episode of Code It. My name is Pontus and let's begin. So the first thing I'm going to show you how to build is a motion detection system that will notify you if someone is outside your door. Someone outside your door. Bring your ass home. Alright, alright. Things you're going to need is a motion detector that goes by the frequency 433 megahertz and the Telstick Duo as well. You can use any radio transmitter or receiver you want, but I'm going to go with this one. You also need a computer. And you also need to know some JavaScript. Now, how this will work out is this motion detector will send its signals to this receiver that then will be connected to the computer or the Raspberry Pi. So let's connect this two. Starting in light. So let's dig into some coding. So now, let's start with setting up our variables and we're going to use the Teldus node package require Teldus and we're going to use express for setting up our server which is going to run our code there we go express and now let's make an app with express, it's by calling express function. Now we're going to listen on the port 3000 with our function. Now we're going to detect which uh, ED the motion detector has. So we need to make a listener using the Teldus library, add device event listener, there we go, and callback function with two parameters, the device ID and the stat status of the device, there we go. Now we just log out the ID so we know which uh, we're looking for and let's run this i'm created my own directory and installed these uh, packages so all these packages will be in the description uh, below uh, let's go node server there we go and the id is free i got this uh, motion sensor right next to me, so I just wave my hand so it sends the signal to the tel stick. But now we know that the device ED is free, so now we're going to perform something if device ED is free. And here you can do anything to notify you, but on this tutorial I'm going to use the Twilo package which is an API for making calls. So now we're going to include the Twilo, sending in our credentials account and the auth token. These I will set up later. And auth token, there we go. And now we have set up our client and we need to make a call. Client calls create. There is an object with all the settings to where it's going to call and uh, what the, the robot will say. These I will define later on as well. Let's see what's going to happen if we run this. But first we comment out this one because I haven't declared any settings. Now we go node server. 
and I wave with my hand, someone is outside your door. Nice. So, you see, it sends free at one time, and it will keep sending and calling me, but I need to be notified just once. So therefore, we're going to set up a new variable, for call again, false, I mean true, because we need to make it call a first time, call again is true, then it will call me and I set the variable to false, so it won't call me until we set it back to true. So then we set a timeout here with a function and I will set this to 5 minutes, so 60 times 60 times 5. There we go, and call again to true. Now it will only make a call once and then wait 5 minutes and then make a new call. Let's try this. Once and nothing more. Perfect. So, I hope that everything worked out great for you. If you have any ideas or questions, just drop them in the comment section. See you next time.